Now I've got the equation then, dh by dt equals 0 0.4 minus 0 0.02 root h. And what I'm going to do next is separate the variables. That is, put all the h's on one side and all the t's on the other side of the equals. So by dividing both sides, first of all, by 0 0.4 minus 0 0.02 root h, and rearranging this by removing the dt, what we have is that the integral of 1 over 0 0.4 minus 0 0.02 root h dh is equal to the integral of 1 with respect to t. There's a hidden 1 here if you like. Now as the time goes from naught to t, the liquid in the cylinder goes from naught centimetres, no height, to 100 centimetres. So I put my limits in next, OK? Now if I integrate the right hand side here, what am I going to get? Well, the integral of 1 with respect to t would be t. And so that's going to mean, if I, if I just actually put this answer over this side, I'm going to have t going between the limits 0 to t. And that's going to equal then this integral going from 0 to 100. And then if I just copy that back in, 0 0.4 minus 0 0.02 root h integrated with respect to h. If I substitute in for t this value of t, that's going to be t, and then subtract this limit 0. So what I get here is just simply t. So therefore have t here, the time it takes to fill the cylinder up to 100 centimetres. Now, with this integral here, what I can do is multiply top and bottom by 50. And if I do that, 1 times 50 is 50, and then 50 times 0 0.4 is going to give me 20, and 50 times 0 0.02 root h will give me just simply root h. You can try it on a calculator if you like, but that's what you'll get, and that is what we had to prove. So that brings us now quite nicely to the end of this part of the question.